entered halftime with a solid lead. Clearly, the number of three-pointers these guys scored in the first half was incredible. And if they can keep that up, it's going to be tough to keep that team down. These are the guys getting buckets for the Chicago Bulls. The Heat were in need of a bit more scoring if they wanted the halftime lead. They've got the break to figure some things out. And trust me, they've got a few things to figure out. Still, it's not like they're totally out of this game. These are the guys getting buckets for the Miami Heat. Game track. Second chance points. The Miami Heat didn't work hard enough in boxing up, and it resulted in plenty of second chance points for the opposition. They need to do a better job of finding the nearest man, sealing him from the basket, and coming up with the rebound. Player of the half. Butler has done his part with scoring and also some great playmaking. For me, I'm more impressed with the way he got his dime than the way he scored his points. I really like the way he exposed the defense in that opening half. And here's a look at his stat line. Who was cold? Ennis truly couldn't get anything to fall in the first half. If he's going to continue to shoot those threes in the second half, he must find ways to be more efficient, but also more patient. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number three. Number two. Number one. And that concludes our halftime report.